totally, there. totally, totally. Uh, I would. I, I mean, I, you know, I still get it sometimes. They're like, wait, who are you? I don't know who you are, you know, because I, I haven't made it yet. I'm not like, you know, it's the superstar, world famous, biggest thing in the world yet. Um, I'm just still trying. Like, uh, like, like a mom and pop, like hot dog joint in the Bay. And um, I, would, I would be in there, you know, just flipping the hot dogs, you know, like, like <laughs> and I used to slang my mixtapes. I, I had, man, I, I used to put a stack of mixtapes right next to the tip jar. <laughs> And when I was working, I'd be like, yo, support local hip hop by my mixtape. I'm like, hey, you want to go have sex? She's like, no. <laughs> Any names? Uh, nah. nah. You're not one of those. Nah. But I'm, I thought, I thought is, like, I wake up still drunk from last night, kind of hungover, feeling like I can't eat right now. I just drink black coffee. Teacher's like, cool. literally jailed. I've reached my tolerance. That's it. You miss one more class, I'm failing you. And it was one of those things where I was already on like academic probation, I think. So if I would have failed, I would have lost my scholarship, school's done, you know. So I had to be there. That was the thing, like I had to go. So we literally had to drive back from LA to New Orleans to get me back for school. Like it was gonna happen, you know? Yeah. I always I always like even if it was like a lie, I told myself I felt like I had fans. I felt like, you know, I was gonna make it, this was gonna work. And uh, you know, I look back on it and I'm like, dang. I was super irrelevant. <laughs> and then I just dated girls that had cars. I was like, yo, give me a ride to McDonald's, I'm hungry. If, Brianna if you weren't doing music, what would you do? I don't know, I uh, don't have a plan B. I never did, so I couldn't tell you what I'd be doing. I, is that I, actually Because that doesn't exist. Success? Absolutely, you know, you plan B is like, uh, it's like a safety net, you know? It's like, um, I think mentally, you kind of tell yourself, it's okay if this doesn't work because I'll do that. Whereas if there's nothing there, there's no, it's okay if it doesn't work because it has to. So, you gotta. Oh, my first car was a bus pass. Straight up, I never had a car. I still ain't had a car. I'll probably wait until I get way on and then I'll go to the Ferrari dealership. Like, uh, what y'all got? You'd be able to seal the deal with a bad chick if you were about to do it and you looked up and she had like a Trump poster in her in her room? Oh, wow. That's that's <laughs> like almost on par as if she had like a Toshiba laptop. <laughs> like if she didn't have a, a, if she didn't have a MacBook, I'd just be like, wow, I gotta get out, yo. MacBook? <laughs> you're you're like kind of gross. <laughs> you're kind of gross. Searching. You could go and bet the house on it, mama sure thing. You've been working for a while, something's not working. Wait for me to fail, then you got the... You gotta take care of the bus driver. You know, yeah. He takes care of us. He keeps us safe. I think it's his birthday today. We should get him with a nice hooker. Not 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 low level, cheap, but not like a supermodel hooker. But you know, like like, like in Wolf of Wall Street, where the, you know what I mean, the, the, <laughs> the upper mid range hooker. I swear. I'm gonna have them sneak apple juice into the club and pour it in my whiskey glass. I'm so I'm sitting there looking like I'm turning. You know what I mean? I got my glass of whiskey, but I'm really drinking apple That's juice. Never happened. It's never happened, <laughs> of man. Of course not. It always is a nice thought, but it never happened. Went to the bathroom, and there was there was a, like two three girls literally going like, "Oh my god, jeez, he's here!" Like panting. You're lying. I swear to you. And I these I things happen. Y'all know what I mean? From California all the way out to Finland. You feel me? You dig? You smell me? Y'all know what I mean? The Bay Boys are out here. Young Gerald, G Easy, reporting it's live. Really, from just hella greasy. Oh you don't, you don't use like a product. Like nah, Murray's I just, I just never watched it. Just never I never watched, watched it. it. That's that's four years of grease in my <laughs> hair. Just, Yo, just the secret is out. <laughs> been touring in Europe for a couple of weeks now, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's all a blur. <laughs> yeah, we just wake up in a new country every day. It's insane. Little, little, I would always ask her, you know, like, Mom, why does it smell like skunk all the time? <laughs> you know, like, it's, oh, there's a lot of them in this neighborhood. Your head's straight, and how do you focus on music when there's so much distraction, especially when it comes to girls and um, movies, <laughs> bands? I, uh... I, I, do you? <laughs> I, uh... I... You see, uh, <laughs> I love this part. Right I um, <laughs> what's the longest you've gone wearing the same pair of jeans? Oh man, like two years, three years, <laughs> every day. Yeah, yeah, I got My a pair man. of APCs that I I've never had these washed, same man. jeans on for three weeks. Yeah, <laughs> gotta do it sometimes. Straight up, yeah. And